welcome back. My name is Nightmare, and we just defeated Pinwheel with the help of Paladin Leroy. And now we're gonna continue without any discussions so we get through this place. Now, you probably have by now an item called the Skull Lantern, which is this thing. Now, what do you do with it? Well, you can use it to light your way. See how dark this is? But, of course, you cannot block with it. And that is bad. Actually, let's, let's just remember there's one more item we're gonna get real quick. Which is up here, which leads us back into the catacombs. If you don't want to go into the Tomb of Giants. Because this is now a place where you need to make a decision. Get this item and then just run back. We don't have to go down there. Because we want to do the Tomb of Giants. Because I have I have something that makes the decision easy. And I'm gonna explain this real quick. Now with this lantern you can light your way, go through here, see where you're going. No problem, right? But there's gonna be enemies, the big skeletons. And as soon as you attack, your light will be gone. If you... I don't like doing this. I did this, I tried this for the first time with this and it was a pain. And I actually quit doing the Tomb of Giants and I looked it up. There must be some way to actually do this better and there is. There's an item for that. So we go back to our ivory talisman here and now for a head slot item. The Sunlight Maggot. See what that does? It illuminates and we can still use our shield. Now where do you get the Sunlight Maggot? The Sunlight Maggot you get in Lost Isolith, behind the Demon Ruins. So, if you want to actually get this item before you go in here, because you don't want to do this with the Lantern, you're gonna have to wait a little till I show that, and I will embed a link right here to the other videos so you can see where to get the sunlight maggot but if you feel like you can do it use the lantern and take it step by step like you see these lights they kinda guide your path through here but don't trust anything so let's get started walked in here and then you can see the eyes glowing in the dark with the creepy big skeletons Sneaky one. And take him out. Walk down here, and that's gonna be nothing here. Now here you wanna slide down onto this coffin. And then it's gonna be one more skeleton here. Item he was guarding, not a soul. And then you slide down here. Don't walk too far, there's actually two big skeletons here. Well, actually, they both saw me already, so for me it's no problem because my weapon has this long reach. And you don't want to go there yet. Actually, you have to. <laughs> Talking stupid stuff again. But when you slide down here, what you want to do is keep to the right. Like, as soon as you start sliding, move your stick to the right. Like so. And then here to get this item. It's, which is just one humanity, but humanity is your friend. Okay, here's another NPC. We're not talking to him yet. We're gonna hit the bonfire first. Just down the ladder. Over here, rest at bonfire, and we can actually level up, which we're gonna put some more points into vitality. Now we're gonna head back up, and still not talk to the NPC, but we're gonna walk this little pathway here. Roll 
through that. And we're gonna drop in here. Now this is really a difficult place. See? There's lots of these skeletons down there. So I'm gonna activate my sunlight blade. And then... Drop down, which kills... One. And now we kill probably the other two. But there's more. There's like five to six of them in here. So a good way to also do it is with pyromancy from above. Or with the drop down tactic that I just did. Solo Brave Warrior. And then back here, we're gonna get another Ember. The Large Divine Ember. Now, if you have also the other one, you're gonna be able to make Divine Web. The, the Wine. The Wine. Whining. Divine Weapons plus 10. Which is awesome. Which is a good thing to have for the Catacombs above. Now, I wanna go up here. And then kill this guy. The archers might try to get you. Yeah. They're not that bad, so don't worry about it too much. Then you climb up this ladder. Then you're gonna see an item here. We're gonna get that in about yeah, 10 seconds. A little bit more. We're gonna finish these guys first. So walk slowly that you, if possible, just pull one. And then finish them off before you go to the next one. Same procedure. There we go. I'm gonna take this item. Large soul. Then you drop down here. And hopefully don't slide off. And then you drop all the way down and back up the ladder. Dump, dump, dump. Then you go here, climb up these ladders, climb up this ladder, then you roll onto this. Grab these eyes of death. And climb again. And then you go up here. And then you get this item. So now we're back at the start. And now we just run back down to where the NPC was. And of course the skeleton has respawned because we hit the bonfire before. Slide down. He's not amused. <laughs> bye bye. And drop down. Heal up. Now you talk to him, and then he asks you if you are a cleric. If you say no, he has no problems with you. If you say yes, I th think he attacks you. So we're gonna say no. <laughs> now, he has this really dirty laugh. Why? 
I talk to him some more to get some more information. And he asks, what's your problem, blah, blah, blah. And now he's not talking to you anymore. Now, if... Let's see what he does. Oh, a cutscene. Yeah, and he drops you down. <laughs> this is what I do, my friend. The trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse. That's the real treasure. <laughs> yeah, he's a bastard, right? And we are taking revenge. But here you get another skull lantern, in case you didn't get one yet. Hopefully you did. Because it would be real bad if not. And now we're gonna meet somebody. This is the priestess we met near Petrus of Thurland. And she's pretty much trapped here. So talk to her a few times. So she says, and then you have to fight her companions. Which are. Well, I, would, I don't wanna say pushovers, but. They look tougher than they are, of course. And no, there's no way to fight them one on one. You have to battle them. Come on now, you know you're dead. There we go, get some more souls, not much. And then you get a miracle from her. Talk to her again a few times, just to make sure. And then you run up here. Grab this item. Now some creatures are gonna spawn down there. These ones. And... Well, they can apparently only take one hit from my weapon. And they drops white titanite shards. And then you head into the room where the two hollows came for you. And watch out, there's gonna be more of these uh, skeleton totems, I'm gonna call them. or. And then you head up this ladder and we're gonna go and meet our friendly NPC that so pushed us down. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna mess him up. Oh well you would You say no? Then he gives you twin humanities, and then he laughs again. And that means he's a bastard. And what we're gonna do is... We're gonna totally miss our first swing. And then we're gonna miss our second swing as well. There we go. Right. Now he's hostile. He's not very strong. Then you take him out. Get a few salts, get four humanity and the crescent axe, which is the axe the one NPC used. Right now, what we are going to do is stay to the right and walk down. Now we're gonna encounter a new type of skeleton, which is the skeleton dog. And these are really, really nasty. If you have pyromancy and you have the chaos spell, use that. Get close, but not too close. Like, you can get close enough to cast a spell without them attacking you. 
And that's what you want to do. That's a sweet spot. Now here, I'm gonna activate my sunlight blade again before getting hit by an arrow. Heal up. Like here. You can target him, but he's not attacking. Oh my god! No! No! You bastard! Yeah, I forgot to mention, there's a black knight here as well. So yeah. It's... This is not what I wanted to show, of course. So, we're just gonna take out the archer, and then I'm gonna demonstrate what I meant with uh, getting close to these skeleton dogs. Like this one here. See, I can target him, but he's not doing anything. So now I could throw my pyromancy spell and perhaps uh, stun him or kill him with one shot. Well, these things are nasty as hell. They hit very hard. And they can hit you for like one combo and you're dead. Crap, this arm the Figgy shield, or I probably mispronounced that once again. But it's basically an occult shield, like the occult club we got before. And you walk here, walk down here, and then you can see already the eyes again. best thing to do here is take the attack because if he pulls you close to the dog you are gonna have a real bad time because the skeletons the big ones they're, no, they're pushovers but these dogs they're bad news I'll smack them twice and you wanna go here this is gonna be our next bonfire and apparently we are getting invaded right now. So let's clear this place. So oh, actually now we can. It just activated itself again. There we go. So now we head back up. Remember the dog is back. Like this. This is the attack that's really evil. Which can kill you with one or two hits, depending on how it hits and how strong your shield is. And then the skeleton, again, no problem. Now, that item back there, that's what we're gonna get now. What you wanna do for that is run, and then jump onto this wall, pretty much, and then you're gonna basically slide up. Now here, it's a trap. As you just seen, these guys uh, spawn as soon as you get close to the item, and then they mess with you. And then you get the Covidus Silver Serpent Ring. I don't know. But that ring basically gives you more souls per kill. And you don't have to roll, you can just roll completely down. Get that item. I think we actually forgot one item, if I recall correctly. Oh. Hmm. Actually, it would be just one humanity, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just roll down again. Now this is also a place where you can farm souls really good. Like, there's, I think, five of these dogs here. And if you have the right equipment, especially on the first playthrough, you're gonna have the Pyromancy Flame, pro preferably uh, uh, plus uh, five, as the, the big, plus 15, then upgrade it again, plus five. And then have the great Fireball and the Chaos Fireball. And then you need one spell per dog to kill. And you can do this run in like 30 seconds if you're fast. So I probably would say you need like 
45 to 50 seconds for one run. And then you can calculate that and you get like, I think, 9,000 souls. And you can calculate how much stuff you would, how many souls you would get from doing that for like an hour or two. They just circle around, always back to the bonfire, respawn them, and so forth. Then we head here. You don't have to use the ladder, just drop. Then walk down here, stay to the right of course, and then here you don't have to use your lantern or your sunlight maggot anymore. can take your normal helmet. And now we're gonna get invaded. If you're human of course. But by whom? By Dark Spirit Paladin Leroy. So I'm gonna eat one of my green blossoms for more stamina because he can hit really hard. So basically he's the same as me, a paladin character now. And as you've seen, his weapon does a ton of damage even though I have a great shield. And there he goes. Now, what do we get from him? Get of course a few souls. One humanity, as always from invaders, and two humanity as an item. His weapon and his shield. We will get his armor as well, but not yet. We get that af after we enter the boss area. Now I'm gonna do a quick reboot, because there's a crystal lizard here. And I would like to get that, of course. Why didn't we get it now? Why was he gone already? Because he probably heard us fighting Leroy. And if you were here fighting, you probably would run away as well. So let's just go back in and hopefully get the lizard with one try. There he is. Now as I said, he's gonna run. Now he's stopping. And that's when you wanna hit them. Because if they keep running and you start your attack, you might not be able to hit them. And then they stop, start their uh, hiding, and then you have to do it again. So wait for them to stop. And you should be fine. Get them on the first try. Alright, here. Now, this is a evil place. This is an evil trap. Uh, there's another one of these guys. And then it's this one. This one's gonna dive down. And he appears behind us now. So you wanna take him out first. Crawl away from the arrow if you hear the shot. Block it. And now, this is where it gets difficult. See? There's another one behind this corner. If you would charge the archer, he will very likely kick you off the ledge and that's game over then. So you want to run in here and then take a swing at the melee guy first because this archer, because he is a lot taller than you, is not gonna hit you with his arrows at close range. And then, where is this coming from? Well, whatever. Finish him. Then we continue on. Now this is a spot where you can farm humanity actually, but let me explain that once we cleared this, because there's lots and lots of pinwheels here. See them? So, gonna finish these guys, hopefully without dying. Of course, these guys don't do the um, the whole thing about making copies of themselves. Oh god. But they can also drop their uh, masks. But I'm not sure if they respawn once you finish them. Now these baby skeletons... 
They're not very tough, but they're small and they actually apply toxin to you if they hit you. But they do drop humanity, but there's a twist to that. They only drop their humanity for a real short time before it disappears, so you can only pick it up at a... only directly after you kill them, pretty much. But they actually... I think they, in some patch, they nerfed it, so... there's not that much humanity to be gained here. There's a better spot for it now, with the DLC. We're gonna get there soonish. I'm just gonna grab all the items real quick, and here we're gonna get another Titanite slab, but not a normal one, a white one. Which we need for the maximum of our divine weapons. You wanna drop down here, I think we have one more pinwheel, yes. I think there should be one more item and then we're gonna face off against the boss. Yes, there it is, Soul of a Hero. Then just go here. And we have to go through here. Now, here again, you wanna equip your divine weapon. And I'm gonna show you why. Then we pass through, and you, here again, you're gonna drop down, you're gonna take damage, and then a shortcut is gonna appear. I mean, quite a lot of damage, as you can see. And now we're gonna face off against Gravelord Nito. And no, it's not real fucking Nito. Because he has these small adds with him. These are no problem, two hits, they die, and he's very slow. But he has... Okay, now he's doing his stupid sword slash attack when he does that scream that he just heard. And you can run away from it sometimes. Yeah, and there he is again. And that is why it's important that you use a divine weapon, because he acts as a necromancer. He will resurrect these skeletons. Yeah, damn. But now we can switch back to our strong weapon. Apply our sunlight blade. And then engage him. And as you've seen, he's really slow. But... Yeah. That is a real nasty thing. Like, if you see him before you, you can actually time it real well when to... Uh, dodge it. And then you just hit him twice when he does that attack. Because after each attack he is pretty vulnerable, as you can see. Now this is where you run. You run away from him. Because he's using this big ass AoE attack. Which is pretty nasty. And then... Hit him again, and again. And then you run. And get back. Now, doing it again. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Thought I would dodge it actually. Come on, do a, a swipe attack or something. You are dead and you know it. Why? 
Is he not taking damage? Oh god. Let's see how much damage it does. Oh. Survivable. Thought it would be worse. Now, be a good boss and fall. There we go. Grave Lord N Nito, ladies and gentlemen. Get a Lord's soul. Humanity. The souls and now this body here. That is actually Leroy. When we get the Paladin armor. So yeah. That's the Tomb of Giants for you. And it's a perfect time to stop here. And then we continue probably with Lost Isolith. So thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe, leave me a like, and we will be seeing us again in the next video.